that it hasn't already been so on second practice is on. Anybody? Okay, so then, like I say, what you do is you take the pulse first, get the baseline of what you're feeling, and I want you to turn your head towards this shoulder. Okay. And then, like I say, with any test, you can do different things to escalate the level up. I want you to bring your chin lower down towards your shoulder, collarbone, and then take a deep breath in and hold it. And then you can also kind of pull the arm back in a way like that. Okay, go ahead and put your arm, put your head back. I mean, just back to neutral. Okay. Now, sometimes you'll see that, you'll notice that the pulse disappears, but do you have any kind of symptoms? So a lot of times you just, you know, you'll find that decrease in the pulse, but it's not clinically safe, which is not having those types of symptoms. Because if you look for, if you see a decrease in the pulse, but also you're looking for a reproduction of the symptoms that the patient has. Okay, so thoracic outlet, they're going to have most likely to have symptoms right here, and then that's going to reproduce it. Okay. And then Halsteads is they're going to turn into the opposite. Way. And then you can accentuate it by where they can extend back like that, and then you, know, you can pull the arm back a little bit more like that. And then now I'm feeling a little. Some of the pulse is a little bit deeper, but it's not having any reproduction of symptoms, so that's not as significant. Are these pictures in the book, like yeah. the class book? They're, um, they're not in this, they're in the textbook. In the textbook. Yeah, these yeah. pictures are exactly From right out of the text. Sometimes I put other ones in, but no, these are straight out of the book. Okay, so Allen Maneuver, which is different than Allen Test. Here we have the arm up like this. And then now we're just having the turn head to the opposite direction. Okay, so again, we're looking for a decreased pulse or reproduction of symptoms. I'm not fit seeing any change in the pulse. Okay, so those are just the standard basic thoracic outlet tests. And then you get into these other ones that um, you're going to do based on the symptoms that they, they present with. If someone says that I have problems when I raise my hands over my head, I don't blow dry my hair anymore because I feel too much nasal numbness and tingling. So then you're going to do this ruse test, which is also called an elevated arm stress test, or provocative elevation test. So ruse test is you're going to stand here and do this for three minutes. Probably going to get bored before you make it to the three minutes. <laughs> so it's ruse test, or you remember like, you know, root for the home team, rah, rah, rah. Okay, so you're looking for reproduction of symptoms, weakness, numbness, tingling, and then rights maneuver. So again, you're doing this here, and then you're um, internally rotating. So we're just going to this. Actually, I'm sorry, that's external rotation. Yeah, external rotation. So same thing, you're looking for change in the pulse, reproduction of symptoms. Then costocavicular, now this is going to be something where they're having problems when they're carrying heavy bags. So then you're going to come back with this. And then you're pulling the shoulder pulling the arm down like that. Right. You can also do it on both sides together like this. So the emphasis is on pulling the shoulders down back. And that's it.